Hi, today I want to talk about pots. The um, pots that come from your nursery, um, black and the dark green, not so much the brown ones, but um, <clears throat> these pots right here are dark. And as we know, when you're wearing dark um, clothes and you're out in the sun, uh, usually that color will absorb the heat and the light so um, especially with with succulents they do not like um, the heat so if you have the water in there and the heat um, it gets too heated up in there and it dries up the soil pretty fast so I was thinking to myself um, it would probably be safer if I painted the pot so why do we want to paint the pots to make the pots lighter so we're going to choose a light color to paint the pots with now you can decorate you can go all out if you want to um you could do that certainly but um you know simple simple painting or if you want to wrap something lighter around it um the other day when i picked up one of my pots in the black container like this it was so hot and I can feel it and plus plastic is not very porous so really the only vent would be underneath so we don't want to do that we have to feel the same way as our plants feel in order to be able to get healthy plants in the future so when they sell it maybe they didn't think about it but I just noticed that when I was touching it it was so hot it was under the sun and I'm and I'm thinking what more inside that pot what's going on we don't know and maybe sometimes that's why our plants die so my first step is to spray this primer for all projects it doesn't matter what which kind you use wear your gloves to protect your hands and then shake the bottle until you hear the little pellet inside and then start to spray and just use lightly um, it doesn't have to be full coverage because we're going to paint it later on anyway so here I have my black pots and my green pots um, and I know that I'm going to be using this in the future for my little babies to um, grow up in until they become a little bit more mature plants. When you're finished it's a good idea to wipe off the hole so that it'll be ready for the next one you can either spray paint about a quarter of an inch or that whole lip inside with the white spray paint also or you can do it by hand and here I did it by hand but in the future I was um, doing it with the spray paint because it's just much easier so this is in this way when you plant something in there and the soil only goes up to where that line of the lip is then um, it would actually good, look good because um, you're painting the same color inside so right here i'm painting the outside of all my pots choosing bright colors and light colors because um, it would defeat the purpose if we painted it anything darker um, that's going to absorb the heat and and the light and cook our our roots so here I'm just painting it with a jade like a light jade color and you could also spray paint it with any color you want if you only want one color that's fine too but for me I want to do a little bit of decorating since I'm going to be um, changing the appearance of the outside anyway 
I chose to do it in this manner. At this point, I started to decide what I want to do with um, my pots and how I want to decorate it. So I have the um, sponge, um, a round sponge, a little round sponge to just add some dots to it or however you want to decorate yours. I decided to just do um, this dots on um, the pots and then um, decide to do what else what other things I need to do after that um, so I'm using this blue that's a kind of contrast to the yellow and I'm going to start decorating my pot When I say paints, I meant light colored paint, pastels, light blues, light purples, uh, flesh colored. Um, you don't want to paint it another kind of dark color like a dark blue or, or black or dark purple or dark red, you know, because then the sun again, the, the UV rays will get um, absorbed into the pot. So. Um, you just wasted your time because you could have just stayed with the black. Um, so anyway, after you're done with your pots, if it's once they're dry, you want to seal it with Mod Podge. Or you could also use the acrylic varnish to just spray it spray it make sure that if you're going to use this to spray it twice once horizontal once vertical so horizontal let it sit for about 30 minutes and then spray it vertical so that um, it seals the whole thing um, but this is expensive so I am suggesting Mod Podge okay so now that it's dry I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Mod Podge and this is going to be so cute. You can also do um, whoever's interested in lettering, uh, calligraphy or whatever. You could do some words. You can put your name. You can do inspiring messages. Or you can draw on it. I just happen to be an artist and I like to do stuff like that. But you could also keep it simple. I'll probably do some that are a little bit special and then some I'm just going to keep simple. Now don't forget the insides of your your pots. You, ha you can't forget that. It's also uh, 
just as important as the outside because you still are, you're still gonna see parts of that inside of the pots.